Welcome to DARE Education Awareness, where you can find the latest news on all DARE County schools, the Coastal Studies Institute, and the College of the Albemarle. We keep you informed, entertained, and up to date on education in DARE County. Hi, I'm Tim Sweeney, Dean here at the DARE campus in the Outer Banks. Are you looking for a new opportunity, a new job career? Well, we have it here for you. Come on here and join me in forklift operations. Being a forklift operator, you'll get a job anywhere in the United States. Forklift Operation Safety. This course provides instruction on the operation and maintenance of an industrial forklift. Core topics include forklift design, controls, and instrumentation, pre-use inspection, safety awareness, and forklift stability. This course also meets the requirements for OSHA regulations. I think it's great that we've got a local college offering a certification program for forklift operators. Our industry specifically, it's a great entry level position to, to get your foot in the door with a great company. Our yard specialists and our warehouse specialists, it's an entry level position but it can lead to so much more. A lot of our outside salespeople, a lot of our middle and upper management started off in the industry as forklift specialists. Our forklift specialist is a full-time position and our operation, the, the forklift specialist is vital to our overall success. With the numbers that the Bureau of Labor Statistics published, there's 761,000 forklift or similar type jobs available in the U.S. with an anticipated growth of 19,000 additional jobs per year for the next 10 years. So it's a really fantastic job for people that want to re-enter the workforce or maybe enhance their, uh, their skills and go in a new direction. This is a fantastic opportunity for those people. It's also a good opportunity for folks here at Dare County or the Outer Banks that might be interested in welding, or the forklift opportunity or both. Uh, oftentimes those skills are used together in shops. You know, welders will need material, forklift operator will bring that material. So this is a fantastic opportunity for folks in this area. This $75 class will only take eight to 10 hours of your time and is taught by a certified OSHA instructor. And when completed, you will have your OSHA certification or forklift operator. For more information, call 252-473-2264 or go to our website, albemarle.edu. My name is Ellen Bryson and I am the librarian at Kitty Hawk Elementary School. I've been here 14 years and I am the Dare County Schools Teacher of the Year for 2019 to 2020. 2019 and 2020 was a year of challenges and it was also a great year at Kitty Hawk Elementary School. Even though we left in March, we still managed to complete tons of cool projects here that year. We were just getting into Leprechaun Trap Contest, which is one of my favorite annual contests that we do. The kids practice their STEM thinking and their creativity when they build really cool traps to catch a leprechaun. Another cool thing we managed to accomplish, even though the year was a little bit short, was breakout boxes. We do a lot of really fun breakout boxes where kids have to work in teams to use critical thinking and collaboration. They have to unlock a series of puzzles to earn the keys to unlock the lockbox. And inside there is a prize. We did One Book, One School, a very short version of One Book, One School. We started out the year by reading Kate DiCamillo's Because of Win Dixie. And we did that in grades one through five. So that was fun because parents got to be involved, bus drivers, cafeteria workers, of course, teachers and students. Everyone surrounded the kids with literature. So I'm a person who has a lot of energy and I'm always looking for ways to make learning exciting for kids and to revamp 
education so that kids come into the library and it's a land of magic. I love to have book fairs that are magical. I love for them to come in and have music playing or them to come in and know that they're going to have something fun that day in the library. They look forward to specials and I really try hard to make it fun for them. I also try hard to help teachers enjoy their job more by being as helpful as I can, pulling books for them, um, getting resources together for them, helping them come up with lessons and collaborating with them on projects. I try to do big teacher book clubs every year for teachers to do professional learning after school to make it fun. And one thing I'm really getting into lately is uh, the ACEs and the Deepest Well book series and learning about kids with toxic syndrome. I'm helping teachers realize that they can be the mentor that those kids need to help buffer those awful circumstances that kids can get into. Our curriculum is very expansive. We teach technology skills, research skills, the ability to read different types of books such as nonfiction, fiction, reading for information, reading for fun. One cool thing we love to do is ask the kids what they want to learn about and then we turn it into a book club. We might bring in a speaker to help enhance the learning. We do a lot of stuff with another local group that provides speakers to us called NEST. They do a lot of sea turtle education programs and they also fund us with books and field trips for the kids. Another big part of being a librarian is expanding outside of the school. So not just working with teachers in my school and students that I see every day, but also working with community members and future librarians and educators. So I do a lot of things outside of school which I think impact the field and hopefully represent Dare County in a positive way. You know, you, you've got your general job responsibilities, but Ellen takes it a step further, day in and day out. We have our Windows to the World room behind me that she manages and runs, and we've been video conferencing with park rangers at Yellowstone National Park, scientists studying penguins in South Africa, and we've been all over the world with kids in our Windows to the World room learning about things outside of Kitty Hawk Elementary School. She's teamed up with the Pea Island Preservation Society and we've taught about local history and Richard Etheridge and his life-saving station. She comes up with STEM projects and it just goes on and on and on, the, the neat things that she does to go above and beyond to make learning come alive and make it relevant for our kids. She is an adjunct teacher for ECU and teaches future librarians. She is an amazing professional and she's just a great individual, a great person, a passion for what she does, and she is well deserving of Dare County Schools Teacher of the Year. Welcome to the ECU Outer Banks Campus, home to ECU Integrated Coastal Programs, the Coastal Studies Institute, and the Department of Coastal Studies. ECU Integrated Coastal Programs is a leader in coastal and marine research, education, and engagement. ECU Integrated Coastal Programs brings together scientists and researchers across ECU's campuses and integrates the fields of engineering, health, maritime history, and the social and natural sciences. ECU's Integrated Coastal Programs is dedicated to transdisciplinary research, high-quality academic programs, and meaningful community engagement. The program uses an interdisciplinary approach in scientific advances to provide effective solutions to complex problems while helping coastal communities, ecosystems, and economies thrive. Integrated Coastal Programs connects ECU's main campus in Greenville to the coast through ECU's Outer Banks Campus. Located on Roanoke Island along the banks of the second largest estuary in the United States, this LEED Gold Certified Coastal Campus spans 213 acres of marshes, scrub wetlands, forested wetlands, and estuarine ecosystems. ECU Integrated Coastal Programs is a college-level academic unit within East Carolina University that includes the Coastal Studies Institute, the ECU Department of Coastal Studies, and ECU Diving and Water Safety. The ECU Outer Banks Campus is home to the Coastal Studies Institute, a multi-institutional research and educational institute led by East Carolina University in partnership with North Carolina State University, UNC Chapel Hill, UNC Wilmington, and Elizabeth City State University. CSI focuses on integrated coastal research and education programming centered around the needs, issues, and concerns of coastal North Carolinians. CSI research expertise span a variety of coastal disciplines, including coastal dynamics, ecology, biology, economics, 
environmental geography, social and behavioral sciences, and engineering. Engagement is core to the mission, and CSI has a robust outreach program with staff that are actively engaged with coastal communities through meaningful education offerings for the general public, lifelong learners, and K-12 students and teachers. In addition to the Coastal Studies Institute, ECU's Integrated Coastal Programs also includes the Department of Coastal Studies, an interdisciplinary department of scientific leaders with expertise across the natural and social sciences. Department of Coastal Studies faculty are committed to advancing coastal science and providing solutions to coastal communities through cutting-edge research and engagement. The department offers academic educational opportunities for both undergraduate students through the semester experience at the coast and graduate students engaged in the Integrated Coastal Sciences PhD program, a research-intensive doctoral degree program housed within the department. Robust research, rigorous academics, and meaningful engagement are central to the mission of ECU's Integrated Coastal Programs and our faculty and staff are dedicated to working with coastal communities to increase resilience and ensure sustainability, now and in the future.